Peter Cox. It's Pizza Wednesday again. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pizzas again. As I said previously, we are just going to keep working through these until the series is finished. Every now and again, you'll get a bonus episode of something normal, but I really want to get on with this series because I'm actually enjoying it. So this week's pizza comes from episode 131, The Sword of Yurikawa. We've actually had a pizza for this episode before, so I guess there was two disgusting pizzas in this episode. Toppings, guacamole and marshmallow. I'm going to knock a quick guacamole up off camera. You're not watching these turtles videos to see me make guacamole and stuff. You're watching to see the horrific pizzas. I know that now. So we're going to start skipping over like some of the cooking the ingredients and things. It's not necessary. So, got a dough ready and proved. Let's dough. Right, so let's get this one topped. Okay, so with our guacamole and marshmallow pizza, we do half the sauce guacamole, the other half tomato. Then on the tomato side, we'll put some guacamole on top of the cheese. Some cheese. And just add some guac on top of the tomato side. Once again, I have tried to do this in two different ways. Experimenting as much as possible with these pizzas now to see if we can make some somewhat edible versions of them. Obviously, this side is going to have a different taste to that side because there's a tomato base. Final little sprinkle of cheese on this side, just go over the top of the guac a bit. Then we want our marshmallow. Some big bits over here and some smaller marshmallows on this side. And with that, that is our guacamole and marshmallow pizza ready for the stove. So let's put this in. Guacamole and marshmallow pizza finished. I don't think this is going to be very nice. And that is our finished guacamole and marshmallow pizza. One side guacamole is the base sauce. The other side has a tomato based sauce with chunks of guacamole on it. So I get to taste this one at least twice. So, guacamole and marshmallow. Guacamole on the base on that side, chunks of guacamole on top of the cheese and tomato pizza on this side. So let's cut it down the middle. Plus, of course, it's a really great pizza. Uh, like one with guacamole and marshmallow? Cook a slice off of this side with the guacamole base. And let's cook a slice off of this side with the chunks of guacamole. Let's try the guacamole base first. not horrible. In the past the marshmallow has been really strong but that guacamole just completely overpowers the marshmallow on this one actually so it's sort of you don't really notice the marshmallow whereas usually all you can taste is the marshmallow. Try the other side with the guacamole dollops instead of the full base maybe this one will taste different. just taste the background flavour of the tomato sauce but otherwise it's exactly the same as the other one it's not really made much of a difference to be honest not terrible like a lot of these actually the ones that have involved fish have always been disgusting but all the other ones that are just weird they're not terrible they're actually edible but you wouldn't want to eat them i don't really want to eat them but it's all in the name of science you know so that will be everything for today Gonna to take this, maybe see if the kids want to try the light guacamole, the light marshmallows, maybe they'll like both mixed together on a pizza. Who knows? Oh, oh those turtles! They'll pay dearly for this!